Braun underway. And for Caceres, it's going to be important to get on the inside early. Pacheco is a distance fighter. He knows he is. And he's very good at keeping himself at range during these fights. One thing we've seen Coceres be able to do against the other top 10 fighters that he's faced in recent years, with the exception of Eric Bazinian, he's been able to outwork them. Even in fights that he's lost, he's been the one hustling and pushing the pace. We'll see if he can make Pacheco uncomfortable here in the early going. Well, he's going to have to get on the inside and make him uncomfortable, but he's going to risk getting hit with something big. Diego Pacheco has a really big right hand, and once he lands it out range, I mean, it could be dangerous. Pacheco getting his jab working here early. And that's what I want to see from that 79-inch reach of Diego Pacheco. Get it started early. Pop that jab out there. Make it uncomfortable for Coceres to, to be able to break that distance. But a good start for Pacheco. Coceres picked up the pace a little bit, landed some shots, particularly to the body in round three, but Pacheco was there to match that tempo. Shot to the body there for Pacheco. Chris Mannix, how do you have this one so far? Yeah, I've got 30 to 27, three rounds to none in favor of Diego Pacheco. I do think Caceres has one of his, probably his best round in that third round. But Pacheco has been controlling the distance with that jab, and he's landing the clear, heavier punches. And there's that overhand looping shot that Caceres is, is looking for. That's his money punch. We're kind of the guys. Needs up, up. He needs to set up Pacheco a little bit more with stabbing him downstairs. More jabs to the chest and the body. I like the fact that Pacheco didn't mix it up. When Cosero wanted to mix it up with him, Pacheco threw his shots, got respect, and then went back on the jab, back on the back foot boxing. Every time Coceres has done something of note, to your point, Sergio, Pacheco just stabilizing the action, getting back to what he knows is going to work with that Chris Maddox varsity basketball uh, wingspan that he's using right now. It's patience, it's focus, it's being alert, and sticking to the game plan for Diego Pacheco. For Coceres, it's a little bit of, of the same, but he's going to have to add aggression and punch anything that Pacheco gives you, shoulders or elbows, anything. See right there, that's exactly what Coceres needs to do. Punch the forearms. Accidental headbutt, accidental headbutt. Cut it right here on the cheek. Accidental headbutt. We got those gloves, huh? See a tiny cut underneath the left eye of Diego Pacheco. He heard the referee, courtesy of an accidental headbutt. I got, I got to give credit to the referee, Ray Corona, for catching that headbutt, I'm telling you. Good left hook there from Coceres. He heard the gasp from the audience here at the YouTube Theater. Maybe the best shot of the fight from Coceres, and he connects on another one. Coceres is doing a good job of punching behind the head of Pacheco. Pacheco pulling back, and it's landing. <laughs> Very smart, very cagey experience there by Marcelo Cosero. He's not punching at the face of Diego Pacheco, but punching behind where his head's going to be. That's very interestingly put. You know, when, when people hear he punch behind the head, they think of something that it's antagonistic against the rules. What you're saying is throw to where you think he's going to back up into. Exactly. No, you're not punching. You're not aiming for a rabbit punch. No, you're 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 gonna you're punching where the head's going to end up, not where right. it's at. Come on, work, guys. Good start to this fifth round for Marcelo Coceres. And you can tell that Pacheco didn't like that. You know, that, that's smart. There it is again. Left hook again, the third of the round, landing flush on the chin of Pacheco. There it is again, the exact same punch. Coceres practiced that right there, and he got up off his feet, looping in with that left hand. No, no, stop, stop. An experienced fighter like Coceres, so it's bound to happen. You took it well, now get back to the strategy. Pick him with that jab. Move the ring. Move around the ring. Use your legs just like he's doing. And don't forget to faint. Coceres looking for that big left hook again. Only fine shoulder. Coceres adding a lot of pressure to Pacheco cutting off that ring. You know, just to underscore how credible an opponent Coceres is. You know, four and five in his last nine fights, but four of those losses have come against undefeated opponents. He gave Billy Joe Saunders 
all you could ask for was up in the 11th round of that championship fight. Knocked down Edgar Berlanda, big shot there. Big shot to Pacheco as well. Maybe his best left hook of the fight. I, I think they both kind of each other with left hooks right there. They both landed pretty cleanly. Pacheco wants to avoid exchanging with Coceres. Big left hook from Coceres again. Another good round by Coceres here. Both of them have their moments. But anytime Coceres is landing, he's dangerous. Well, even when Pacheco is having success right now, that comfort, that ease that we saw from him in the opening four rounds, that is out the window as a clash of heads. A serious right. one there. Right underneath the chin of Pacheco. That was intentional, Coceres. That was a veteran move by Coceres. Using his head there. Gotta be careful. It bloodied the mouth of Diego Pacheco with that head. Uh, the official ruled it unintentional. <laughs> Perhaps the veteran fighter here at the table knows no, a little better. No, I think Ray Corona, he knows what he saw. He's a veteran judge, but he's giving him a, a warning. No, 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 no. But yeah, stop, but stop, that, stop. that was definitely a, a KG veteran move by Coceres using his head. There we go. That's what I want to see from Coceres more. <laughs> Digging down to the gut, trying to break the taller fighter in half. That's going to open up the left and right hooks. So Pacheco trying to dig that left hook downstairs. It's the body work of Coceres that was more noticeable there. And you can see Diego Pacheco's mouth bloody from that headbutt. Well, you're right, Sergio. I think Pacheco knows what he was doing in the first four rounds. That can't be enough. He needs more of this as Pacheco unloads with straight right hands and left hooks. You can't let the bully out bully you. You got to show him you're here to be. Save your, chick, save your title. Save your undefeated record. You're the man tonight. I love seeing this from a 22-year-old. Get in your spot. Punch your feet, punch your punches, but go back to the jab. You already got your respect. You got your, your, your punches in. Now go back to the jab. Stick to the strategy. Beautiful counter over the top there for Pacheco. And you can see Coceres face on his... No, 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 no. The look on his face now. He respects the punches and the power coming from Pacheco. Coceres not coming forward anymore. And that's for good reason. He got shook by those, those combinations of Pacheco. And Pacheco continuing to back Coceres up. Now starting to open up. Big right hand connects there for Pacheco. And now it's the body that was right by Coceres. They don't like. Took a lot of big shots by a big puncher in Pacheco. Nothing coming back from Coceres. Oh, he just walked into a big right hand for Pacheco again a moment ago. And Pacheco becoming emboldened by his success now and starting to work on the inside. Coceres well, is tired. A little sluggish with his, with his misses and his punches right now. Big right hand again for Pacheco. What a response. What a bounce back round for the 22-year-old from South Central. That left hook connected from Coceres a moment ago. Work, guys, work. Uh, Pacheco just grabbing a hold there. Has to be careful. Got hit with a chopping right hand. Yeah, I mean, he's losing a little bit of focus, Pacheco, looking at the crowd. Yeah, keep your eyes on the man trying to take your head off right now. Nice uppercut for Pacheco. And that right hand backs Coceres up. Coceres felt that one. And the crowd. Shocking to me. Amazing set of amazing combination by Diego Pacheco to put Coceres down. But there was just about 10 seconds left in that round for Coceres to get up and survive. He looked at Ray Corona, wanted nothing more to do with this fight.